Good morning. This is Tuesday, April 21st. I'm glad to be with you today. And the title of today's devotion is Don't Hurt the Lord. This is John 14, 9. Jesus is talking and he says, Have I been with you so long and yet you have not known me, Philip? Our Lord must be repeatedly astounded at us, astounded at how unsimple we are. It is our own opinions that make us dense and slow to understand. But when we are simple, we are never dense. We have discernment all the time. Philip expected the future revelations of a tremendous mystery, but not in Jesus, the person he already knew. The mystery of God is not in what is going to be, it is now. Though we look for it to be revealed in the future in some overwhelming, monumentous event. We have no reluctance to obey Jesus, but it is highly probable that we are hurting him by what we ask, saying, Lord, show us the Father. His response immediately comes back to us, and he says, Can't you see him? And we remember that scripture where he says, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. He is always right here, the Father, or he is nowhere to be found. We look for God to exhibit himself to his children, but God only exhibits himself in his children. And that's a very important part for us to understand as we walk our daily lives. Whether we are going directly to witness to somebody or whether we're just walking like Jesus, to use, the Sunday, to use the Sunday school song, is that God only exhibits himself in his children. And while others see the evidence, the child of God may not. We may not. We want to be fully aware of what God is doing in us. But we cannot have complete awareness and expect to remain reasonable or balanced in our expectations of God. In the note that I made on that line, is that if, if we receive everything all the time, full awareness of everything, what's going to happen is that we're going to start to fall in the trap that Eve fell, in, fell into in the garden when, when Satan told her that she could be like God if she ate the fruit. So if we start to expect everything all the time and have the foresight of God, pretty soon we're going to start to place ourselves there. So we can't have our complete awareness and expect to remain reasonable or balanced in our expectations of God. If all we are asking God to give us is experiences, and the awareness of those experiences is blocking our way, we will hurt the Lord. The very question we ask hurts Jesus, because they are not the questions of a child. And that's something I made a note of at the top, is that we need to remain as children. And to be like a little child is something we have to work at. He says, let not your heart be troubled. And that's children. Children just, they just go along with their folks. They trust their folks. They're not troubled about where the next loaf of bread is coming from or if mom or dad will have clothes for school. For the most part, children just let not their hearts be troubled. And that's what Jesus is saying here. Am I then hurting Jesus by allowing my heart to be troubled? If I believe in Jesus and his attributes, am I living up to my belief? Am I allowing anything to disturb my heart, or am I allowing any question to come in which are unsound or which is unbalanced? I have to get to the point of the absolute and unquestionable relationship that takes everything exactly as it comes from God. God never guides us at some time in the future, but he always guides us in the here and now. Realize that the Lord is here now. And the freedom you receive from that is immediate. Realize that God is always with us, always, and there's so much freedom there. And again, I ask you to reflect on our children when they were growing up. They trusted us for the supper on the table. They didn't run around fretting and worrying about where it's coming from. They had the faith of a little child. And that's what Jesus asks us to have as well. Let's pray. Father, thank you for our little children. Thank you that we can reflect on them and how they trust us and, and how you provide for us to be able to provide for them. Let us become like little children today, Lord. 
Let us not try to find these great far-reaching things, but let us walk in the here and now and understand that the God they're going to see comes in his children and through his children. We love you, Lord, and be with us today, we ask in Christ's name. Amen. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.